Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to see how you can create a generic data provider class which will read the data from CSV file. So here, I will add one more class. Let me call it as CSV data provider. So first of all, I need to create the instance of CSV reader. So private CSV reader reader. And also I will have an object array which will contain the data which is coming from CSV file. So private object data. So first of all, uh, I'll create a private method to get the path. So string get path and I'm going to use the same implementation. After that, there will be one more private method or let me make it public static method and I'm going to make this also static, this also static, this, okay. So the return time will be an object array which will be two dimensional array and here it will be get data. So for time being, I will use return null, okay. So here, first of all, I will construct the path to the CSV file. Then using this method, I will construct the two dimensional object array and I'm going to return that object array, okay. So let me make it also this private. And this will be void. Okay, so first of all, I will use try catch. Inside this reader equal to new CSV reader and the file name. So here also, so string file name. Now after that, I need to use the while loop. So while reader dot read record. And before that, I'm going to instantiate our two dimensional object array. So data equal to new object. New object. So 12 rows and 4 columns. So there will be a counter i equal to 0. So using this counter I will put the data at the specific location inside the object array. So data of i comma 0. So this will have reader dot get of 0 first column. Similarly, so i of 1, so this will be the first column, sorry second column, third and fourth, so here also 2, 3, okay. Then I'm going to increment the counter. So, okay, here it will be get path. File name. Okay. 
now there will be as one more static method which is going to return me this object array so private public static object get csv data and here I am going to return my object array so before that before returning let me call the method one by one so get data will call get path so here all need to call the get data okay and here it will be file name okay so this is a generic uh, class which is going to read the data from CSV file and it is going to return me in a two-dimensional object array. So now I will create data provider class. So com dot data provider So inside this I will create class called data provider class so it will contain a static method so public static public static object get data from CSV and I'm going to use the annotation data provider and name will be get data get CSV data or let me make it get data from CSV as a name now here so using this this particular method I will retrieve that two-dimensional object array and return to it okay so now here I will call CSV data provider dot get csv data and the file name will be your data dot csv and I need to use the return so return yes okay so in order to test it uh, inside the test case folder I will add one more class let me call it test csv So here I will create a at the rate test annotated method. So public void test case C S V and at the rate test data provider equal to get data from CSV and data provider class will be data provider class okay and now here will be string so code string num num code string f digit and string name so here I'm going to create the reference to code properties so code properties prop equal to code properties dot get sorry code properties lookup dot get code properties and this will be your ISO code okay and let me extend the set class so I can put the validation so here assert equal so the first one will be ex uh, sorry the actual will be prop dot get currency code C 
similarly we have get currency name or let me make it according to our csv file so first will be your get symbol then get currency code then get fraction digit and this will be your get currency name and the expected will be your so this will be ISO code num code and this is going to return me an integer so I need to type cast to integer sorry I need to convert it to integer because this is a string argument so integer dot parse int and this will be your f digit and finally the name okay and similarly I'm going to do for num code also so this will be your test case CSV num and let me make it ISO so here I'm going to construct my code property reference or instance based on the num code so once this is done just do a right click run as test ng test so we are getting the failure okay so we need to change the delimiter flag in the data.csv and here also in the csv reader okay in this we didn't specify any delimiter character so just do a right click run as test ng test so still we are getting a six failure okay we didn't apply the filter for skipping the comment so in our uh, data provider class csv data provider here reader dot set comment and also set use comment and also for skipping the empty record so set skip empty record true okay now let me rerun it again so run as test ng test so now if you look at the console all our test methods are getting passed and as you can see that this information are coming from your csv file so here what i did let me give you one round of code flow so here i created a csv data provider which will have a generic method for reading the data from csv and automatically so this what this method is going to construct the path this method is going to read the data from csv and stored inside this object array and this is the method which is going to return me an object array because as we know that when you use the data provider the data will be returned in the form of object array now the data provider class will only call this get csv data and supply the name of the file and automatically this is going to return me an object array two dimensional object array which will contain the data coming from data.csv and i can use this data provider class inside my test method so the advantage is that let's say there is one more one more data provider sorry there is one more different csv file okay let's say i'm i call it data1.csv so i want to generate my data provider based on this csv file so all i need to do is just to create one more data provider from let's say cs from csv data1 and here i need to supply the name of the csv file so now this is uh, you can say this method is going to return me an object array which will con contain the data coming from data 1.csv so if i want to use this data provider in my test csv all i need to do is just to call this data provider okay like this so if i run it so as you can see that the data is coming from your csv file now okay 
So that is the advantage you will get if you have this kind of a generic class which will give you an object array on coming from your CSV file. Okay, and you need to keep in mind that uh, you need to set the filter for comment and also delimiter. So you can modify this CSV data provider according to your requirement based on your comment character and also the delimiter character. Okay. So in this manner you can create your generic data provider class which will read the data from your CSV file. Okay. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.